Hey guys, I recorded a video covering this last night, but I wasn't really satisfied, so I thought, hey, I'd make another one. So basically, the Ocean Gate co-founder of the, you know, man that died in the Titan submersible while trying to explore the Titanic underwater um, is now trying to go to the moon. He's been trying to do it for a while, it seems like. They've actually had this big plan, so let's just take a look at it. All right, so what is Mirth? <laughs> I'm guessing it's like Moon Earth. Uh, Mirth is the mashup of you. You had like four, four fucking sentences of you explaining what Mirth is. Like right here. Like obviously Mirth is like a mashup of Moon and Earth. Your entire thing is Project Moon Hut conceived during a lunch chat in Silicon Valley. Oh my God, dude! No way! Wait, 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 wait! Silicon Valley. So Silicon Valley Bank went down, and all your shareholders they drove Teslas, right? They just really liked Teslas. Tesla goes to the moon. Oh my God, are these the people that scammed us with the Silicon Valley Bank uh, going insolvent? Let's look at the next forty years. Two thousand fourteen. The moon in two thousand fourteen has zero people on it. That was forever ago. 2014 was literally 20 years ago. So the start was in 2014. So the pre-phase is in 2020. Yeah, I wonder how that fucking um, pandemic hit you guys. All right, so this is where we start. Is 20, 2031 is the moon in 2031. There's going to be eight people on the moon, right? So finally, we've reached a milestone of having 48 people living on the moon. The moon hut can be compared to a double-wide trailer that is commonly used on job construction sites. Which... <laughs> construction sites brother the team is present on the moon to prepare oh it's talking about like if they're there now the team is present on the moon to prepare for the assembly of the industrial park all the resources that you're going to be using for this are are from earth you're going to be taking all the resources from earth there are no resources on the moon you you have a better chance at going and trying to find the lost city of fucking el dorado it is so fucking stupid especially coming from the same company that pulled that whole titan submersible shit where people died uh so 2036 will be in phase two you can't see it because of my face phase two the industrial park All right so the industrial park there's gonna be what 90 people on the moon and all right so what's happening there the impact of climate change mass extinction ecosystem collapses displacement uh that's this is awful this sounds awful. So you're saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, a minute. That's 12 years away. So you're saying in 12 years, we're just all going to be dead. But this is massive. It's still since there's 8.95 uh, billion people on Earth. People literally struggled to pay their bills. 60% of Americans are paycheck to paycheck. This is ridiculous. When, when are we going to be sick and tired of rich people doing stupid shit? Because building a fucking construction site on the moon and constantly delivering materials to the people who are living on the, the – living on the moon is awful. It's – I mean living in space is awful. You have to be fully committed to do that. And if nine, 90 plus people are fully committed to building a colony on the moon – I, I mean, I guess, but it just, there's no benefit here. I don't see a benefit. It's not accomplishing anything. You're not, like, th there's not even anything in here right now that I'm looking at that says anything about making it hospitable. It's just turning it into a construction site. So it's not like they're fucking terraforming the moon or literally anything. They're actually just not accomplishing anything all right so 10 years later 2046 phase three the extended stay all right what's happening on earth over the past 25 years earth has faced a significant challenge okay so it's fine we're, we lived all right we're dead i don't care well 578 people on the moon phase three marks the establishment of the extended stay facilities what the fuck is that extended stay it sounds like some kind of luxury hotel then. Well, it functions as a mini city on the moon with a capacity of 578 people. Regular transportation of goods and services between the moon and Earth have become normalized. The lessons learned from the previous phases have paved the way for accelerated development. How? Well, I mean, I guess that would be a good skill to learn how to build on other planets with different gravity and with different you know, um, challenges like not being able, I guess that's like a good skill to learn how to do maybe, but like you don't have resource gathering skills. You, you haven't drilled 
on like a moon or like a planet. You haven't tried to find oil or some kind of substance to provide fuel or any kind of metal to to smelt and, and create structure. You're taking everything that you have from Earth. Phase phase four. 2063, we have the community commencing the age of the infinite. Oh, 10 billion people on Earth? What's going on on Earth? Over the course of nearly 50 years since the inception of Project Moon Hut, the tides have changed on Earth. While the planet is slowly starting to heal, it is acknowledged that heal, brother, climate change isn't just like specifically from us. There are like volcanic like emissions that are really like on par with us. No, I mean, there's a lot that we could do to make it better, obviously. I'm, I'm not going to deny, you know, that, that, that we could f fucking make it better. The Sun Island has become a thriving community of 1,644 people living and working in the environment and an, an environment that was once thought to be inha uninhabitable, which uh, you haven't said anything that made it habitable. You haven't said anything about, like, what you're going to do about... Are you, like, going to be constantly sending oxygen to these people? Like, what the fuck... Is the plan here? Just 1,644 people, they're going to be breathing a lot of air, right? So, um, where are you going to get? Uh, you, you can't terraform the moon. Or, <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. It, terraforming in general is just like impossible. All right, phase five is the age of the infinite, the mirth odyssey, and inflection point. Uh, by 2063, humanity had come to realize that it was not merely entering that. This is so f science fiction. It's so ironic that this comes from the company of ti the Titan Submersible because it's just, what the fuck are you going to do? Pilot your spacecraft with the Logitech controller? Like, you just be like, all right, all right, everybody hop in, sit crisscross apps, last we're going to the moon. And it's just, <laughs> what the fuck is the goal? It just doesn't seem possible or li like, like it's, it's definitely possible, I believe. It's just not. A good idea or it's not detailed enough you clearly don't have like a, a bigger plan here you don't have like a better plan for your moon hut i don't know how you're gonna like get people to breathe on the fucking moon you're gonna have to constantly be sending our supplies to the people on the moon and it's gonna get worse and worse progressively as time goes and there's gonna be tons and i mean tons of people who are against it and the second that someone stupid gets into um like office and passes legislation of or oh, oh no we're not sending them anything anymore they're on their own this will be like Donald Trump they're on their own they're good they don't need us they went to the bid on their accord they can find oxygen there <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's gonna be bad there's no way that this is gonna be good but they've been planning this for a long fucking time it seems since like 2014. Which is crazy because they couldn't even make it to the fucking Titanic. Yeah, overall, this seems like a pretty stupid idea. I don't think this is, this is going to be like anything good or anything good is going to come from this. You're you're much better off just trying to explore the rest of the Earth for now, I, I guess. It maybe fits the housing crisis and the economy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Complete.